the magnetic dipole moment of a coil. A rectangular coil of dimensions 5.4 cm by 8.5 cm consists of 25 turns of wire and carries a current of 15 milliamps. A 0.35 Tesla magnetic field is applied parallel to the plane of the coil. So you can see that this is a rectangular coil. The magnetic field is parallel to the plane of the coil. Part A, calculate the magnetic magnitude of the magnetic dipole moment of the coil. So magnetic dipole moment mu of a coil will be the number of turns, capital N, the current it carries multiplied by the area vector. Now the number of turns is 25. The current it carries is 15 milliamps, 15, 10 to minus 3 amps. The area is uh, basically 5.4 centimeters multiplied with 8.5 centimeters converted to meter square this is 10 to minus 4 meter square now you can see in this figure if i follow the current with my right hand the four fingers of the right hand the the thumb points in k hat direction so that's the z axis that i have labeled here so this is in k hat direction so the coil magnetic moment will be then 1.72 times 10 to minus 3 in k hat direction. It's asking me the magnitude, the magnitude of the magnetic dipole moment mu coil will be 1.72 times 10 to minus 3. The unit is ampere meter square. That's the SI unit. So this is the magnetic dipole moment of the coil. Now let's look at part B. What is the magnitude of the torque acting on this loop? Here the area vector is perpendicular to the magnetic field vector. So let's start with that area vector is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So we have sine 90. Torque is equal to magnetic dipole moment cross product with the magnetic field B. It is the magnitude of the coil magnetic dipole moment magnitude of the magnetic field sine of the angle between them sine 90. Now what is the direction here? The magnetic dipole moment is in the area vector direction. So we point our four fingers of the right hand in the area vector direction, curl them towards the magnetic field direction. The thumb points in uh, basically J hat direction. So that's into the page. So we have, uh, this is the X axis. This is the Y axis. I hat cross j hat is in k hat direction magnetic field is in i hat direction uh, the area vector is in uh, k hat direction so we have a magnetic field uh, cross area vector that will give us the uh, minus j hat direction but area vector cross with magnetic field will give us plus j hat direction so this is basically j hat okay so magnetic field is b in i hat direction the magnetic dipole moment of the coil is its magnitude in k hat direction and we have k hat cross i hat so k hat cross i hat gives us j hat so the torque is then mu coil times b that's the magnitude because sine 90 is 1 1.72 10 to minus 3 multiplied with 0 0.35 tesla 
the magnitude of the torque is 6.02 10 to minus 4 Newton meters. It's R cross F, so it's in Newton meters. Okay, so we calculated the magnetic dipole moment of a rectangular coil. The number of turns multiplied with the current it carries uh, 15 milliamps multiplied with the area vector a b uh, the area vector direction is found following the current with the right hand four fingers the thumb points in the uh, k hat direction in this coordinate system and the magnitude is given in amps meter square the magnitude of the torque the torque is mu cross b uh, the angle between the area vector and magnetic field here is 90 degrees so sine 90 is 1 so I just multiply the magnitude of the coil magnetic dipole moment with the magnitude of the magnetic field B it gives me 6.02 10 to minus 4 and torque is R cross F so it is Newton's meters Newton times meters that's the SI unit